Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So the other day I did a tutorial on conditional show choices using a cool plugin that I found. And uh, this allows me to show and hide choices dependent upon game switches. And uh, it's a really cool feature. Uh, I'll post a link to that tutorial in the description. But basically uh, it allows you to hide and show choices depending on whether a switch is on or a switch is off or a variable is set and so on. Uh, this is a great feature and then as I was beginning to implement this I realized uh, that I also needed uh, something a little more and what that is is you know how when you play uh, certain games and you go up to an NPC and it gives you say four or five choices of dialogue and so you ask them a question and they respond and then you sort of work your way through each piece until you get all of the information that you need. Uh, the thing that I don't like about that for the game that I'm making is I hate it when you just keep getting presented with the same question over and over even though you've already asked that. So what I wanted to do was make it a little bit more dynamic so that every time once you ask one particular question or cho dialogue choice then that choice disappears the next time you talk to the character. Um, what I realized though is that with the high choices this could get pretty unruly if you have to have a switch for every single dialogue choice obviously then for every single character in the game then that's going to get a little bit out of control because you know you could have you could have a hundred two hundred even more characters in your game with say four or five dialogue choices each so if you want to hide each choice after that choice has been previously selected then you know you're talking seven or eight hundred choices which is just a lot to manage so I realized that this plugin also has an additional feature which is really cool which allows you to use self switches um, and then I'm like great so all I need to do now is set a self switch for each dialogue choice wham perfect turns out not quite the reason being is that what this plugin does it uses this option here for self switches instead of here as shown in the previous tutorial for just switches but these are not self switches as we know them you'll notice this doesn't say self switch a b or c it says 61 and the reason being is it's actually using uh, yep's self switch variable plugin and what that plugin does is it actually allows you to create more than the standard four self switch choices that are available in rpg maker so the first thing you want to do to make all this work is you want to download that plugin and uh, if you if i show you this plugin Yep, self switch variable says comes with self switch functionality. Uh, you only get four in RPG Maker, and this plugin lets you extend the number of self switches. And so the way that it does that, which is really cool, in fact, is you just create normal switches. So you can see what I've done here is I've created 10 self switches, and you just have to make sure that the switch contains the uh, the, the, the characters self SW like this and by doing that so what I've essentially done here is I've reserved 10 self 10 10 regular switches which I will use for all of this dynamic dialogue and you just have to then when you're using the the show choices option you if you set that switch so you can see in this example I have a, have a piece of dialogue that says uh, where do you keep your surveillance footage and this will show depending on a switch but it will also show or hide depending upon that self switch number 61 and you can see here number 61 and it's kind of weird but what actually happens is when you set this to on it doesn't actually set that game switch to on it maps it to a self switch for the event so it sets this switch is seen by this event page and this on this event as a self switch that's good because it means that you can use them on different events and setting it on on one event but off on another event doesn't doesn't get in the way it's totally contained within the event that it relates to so as you can see here what's happening is it's going to show it's going to hide if self switch 61 is on so the simple way of course here is once this dialogue opens you talk and at the end you set it so the next time that you go up to the character this will in fact be hidden and I've done the same here for number 62 
and the same here for number 63. And then finally, my last choice will always be available. So that one will always, you know, the, the character needs to say something. So that's the one that will always be true. So if we actually run this and, and watch it, So you can see this in action, we'll talk to this character and he will have four choices. So as we work our way through the dialogue, so the first one there, then the next time we talk to him, that option will be gone. Again, using the self switch, so now we'll, we'll choose the next option. And so on, until eventually we just have one choice left. So this is kind of cool if you're looking to do that sort of dynamic dialogue setup. Um, I should mention that there is one other way to do this. I came across a cool plugin um, called uh, Hidden Choice Conditions by Jaime Works. And um, this is pretty good. The only problem with this is it kind of suffers from what I talked about initially. So it allows you to uh, hide a choice based on a condition, um, but it's usually, you know, very game switches and um, game variables. So you could accomplish the same thing using a script like this, but like I said, if you have a lot of characters and a lot of dialogue that you wanna hide, you're gonna end up having to create a lot of switches. So I think that using the YEPS um, extension to the self switches is a more maintainable and uh, more self-contained way of uh, accomplishing this. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.